Hey guys, so let's bring the maps on the head of Velociraptor in Maya. Uh, I have almost the same settings like in 3ds Max, like I have an HDRI and also some lights from uh, the left and one is from top view. Uh, let's go actually in perspective so we can see better. And for the settings, uh, I usually go for the same like in 3ds Max. I have the HDRI size and also uh, depending on your computer, I kept it to 80 uh, Max of device. And then uh, GI on, brute force and light cache. Let's bring our model, low poly model. So import and I have it on desktop. So let's search. Okay, low poly. And there you go. We have the head. I have the head. Let's select it. And then press W. So I want to move gizmo into the middle. So press D. And let's just drag it there. Something like that. And now we can move it to the left and maybe to the back. And now let's go to camera. And pretty cool. Let's make a quick test. So show you the frame buffer. Uh, let's render. I did already a quick test. That's pretty decent. I actually move it like this on my test I move the camera so let's do it again better and what I want to do is to select this first so I think I'm in the edit mode yes so right click and let's go to object mode and now we can yes we can move it around so let's select the cage head and let's go to mesh and let's go to smooth and let's apply one close i think i'm going to go for two better let's select the interior mesh smooth and let's give this one for one close and now let's go to frame buffer and let's render it's so cool how clay renders are looking so <laughs> I can leave it like this, it's better than texture. Anyway, let's close this one. Uh, I already have my maps cage and interior from Satsis Painter that I made on 3ds Max. And let's go to Hypershade. And then uh, the way I'm doing is let's actually maximize this one. And this I have the HDRI and also the VM wrapper but I don't need it now so uh, let's create the V-Ray material okay and we can double click and call it cage MTL material and then let's go to cage and let's see select all maps and just drag it to hypershade let's move this one to the right and let's see, we have diffuse. Let's bring this one over here. We have glossiness. And then we have height map. IOR. Normal. And reflection. So I don't think that I'm going to use height map. So I'm going to delete it. And let's move it over here. So diffuse, we can connect it to color. 
refraction to reflection color and this one let's minimize this one. and then double click let's go to attribute and we need to bring with a, a middle scroll uh, mouse to reflection glossiness there you go IRA uh, we need to unlock lock Fresnel IRA like this and then the same with the middle scroll mouse drag it to Fresnel IRA and then uh, normal we can just uh, drag it no the same into the map for this one I'm just going to change it to tangent space and there you go we have our material so let's select the head right click assign and cage material let's close this one and let's go to the frame buffer let's go to a small region and render It just had the beautiful Maya crash so let's bring back video frame buffer anyway actually I just want to go back to hypershade and then let's maximize this one let's go to HDRI and let's increase the exposure and maybe let's move it more and uh, also let's select the cage material and let's go to a uh, reflection amount let's decrease this one and also we can increase metaness okay let's close this one and another crash let's uh, minimize this hypershed and let's go to V-Ray show and then let's make another quick render and once again depending on your light uh, next time I guess I'm going to use the same light but yes you can play along There you go, we have some more contrast. <laughs> Press escape. And let's bring back hypershade. And let's create another V-Ray material. Let's move this one over here. And let's go to interior. Let's select all map beside height. You can use height map on the uh, video displacement if you want so let's move maps so that's i read this is reflection and this is diffuse let's drag this to color and this one let's move to reflection this one let's move it to bump once again we need to put it to tangent space and then let's minimize and let's move this to IRA and then this one to reflection glossiness let's decrease this one and let's increase this metaness let's minimize frame buffer let's make a quick reg region and render oops escape <laughs> uh, let's go to this material and call it interior 
and material minimize select this right click and apply and now let's go back to <laughs> render sorry i forgot to apply the material so that's it this is the way that i'm importing my maps in maya as I said, I think next time I'm going to use that same uh, HDRI and same position so I will be able to recreate uh, almost the same like in Substance Painter. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful and see you next time. Take care.